the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back to another episode, Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm the host, SKN. The next guest I got live and direct is an artist from BandLab.com. He's in three bands, Riverbody Mafia, Bread Up Entertainment. With one mix say the mix say Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcoming to Robert. What's up, man? What's up, big dog? So how's it going, man? I appreciate you coming on this podcast, big dog. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. So let's get into this, man. Introduce yourself and let the people know where they can find you on all social media platforms, Spotify, Deezer, YouTube, man. Just plug all that in right now, big dog. Um, my name is Robert. I can be found on Lab and Facebook, Instagram. If I just find me, search Robert Dills and should pop up. Hell yeah, big dog. So everybody look up Robert Dills, R-O-B-E-R-T space D-I-L-L-S on Instagram and Facebook and bandlab.com. So let's get right into it, man. Describe your music to us. Um, I really got a range of different beats I make and shit. So it's like got a little bit of everything for any kind of person, really. I love songs, like sad songs, hype songs. Trap music, girl music, whatever. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So uh so how long you been rapping for? I'm not actually a rapper, I'm a producer. So were you an artist before Band Lab? Um I messed around with it, I really took it seriously till like last year, so around on there since sometime two thousand nineteen. So, man, you're fresh in the game, big dog. I appreciate you coming on this platform, dog, because it gives me the chance to let people discover you from all around the world. So let me ask you mm-hmm. this, man. When you, how did you discover Band Lab? Um, I was actually searching things on the place on Google Play Store for making beats and shit, and it just popped up and started to try it, and we have it so far. Hell yeah, man. So uh, how many beats have you made on Band Lab? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Does anybody know the number at least 50 or something like that? There's a bunch of them. Hey, big dog, this is your first interview? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hey, dog, just relax, big dog. You know what I mean? Just be you, dog. You know what I mean? And you, yeah, can, take time, right. you can take time with your with your answers, too, dog. You know what I mean? Just give us a little yeah. bit of on, on yeah. what I asked you. So, all right, big dog. Let me go from this, man. So, you're going ban that. How did you get the funny beat, man? Um, I actually posted a beat one time and he liked it and been talking to him ever since. I was on his um his th- third on Thursday or whatever thing he does on Facebook and went from there. Hell yeah, man. So uh how was it growing mm-hmm. up where you're from, man? Um <laughs> Dangerous. I grew up in a place called Yakima, Washington. It's like in LA down there. Gangs everywhere, shooting, killing people, and all sorts of fucking bad, fucking bad shit. It's like, you know. So you grew up in Yakima, Washington. Oh, Washington. Yeah, yeah. Man, so you from Seattle? No, I'm from Yakima. How far is that from Seattle, man? Um, I, a few hours, I think. Hell yeah! Hey, man, let me ask you a question. Uh, so have you performed out in Washington D.C.? I mean, not Washington D.C., Washington State. My bad, man. No, I haven't. I, is I that a goal? Really yeah, but I'm a producer, so it's like I don't know how. They really perform oh, okay, man. So you're a producer, okay? I thought I thought you were. Uh, see, I haven't listened to your whole uh, mixtape that you got out, big dog. Can you speak about how that came <laughs> upon? Um, I hooked up with this one guy, Akira, and we were, we we're putting together a little fucking mixtape and a bunch of beats that we're, I made. I was playing around with putting on there. 
I haven't really decided yet. Hell yeah, man. So, um, so what, what, what date was that release, big dog? Um, I'd have to look. Hold on a second. June 17th. Hell yeah, big dog. That's what's up. So, uh, so what, what, what can we expect after, after that was already released? Is that on Spotify right now? Um, no, it's just on download. Are you looking to get a distribution deal through a uh, distro kid? I've actually never heard of that. Yeah, man. Uh, you go to a uh, distro kid and you go to sign up for like 20 bucks and it's a whole year. They put your music on Spotify and all that, man. Yeah, I, we've got a few tracks already finished. Just me and him, and then I got a couple with one or two with another guy. So, man, and uh, that, um, I, I, I heard you interview a tree, and the what, I can't remember what his name was now. One of the guys he's worked with him did a fucking so you so you track uh, for my uncle. You have you have music huh? with tree though. No, no, I, I, a guy he worked with did a freaking hop on a beat of mine and made a song for my uncle that passed away and shit, so. Hell yeah, man. So, uh, so you, you and Safani Beats have an album that's coming out together? Um, not yet, no. Is that something that we should expect? Um, at the moment, I'm, I can't really say for sure because it'd be nice, but. I don't know what his his thing is going, what he's got going on, and, and if he's working well, I'm, I'm willing too. So, so what are, it's a goal, I guess. What are you trying to accomplish on Band Lab, man? Just mu- make music. I, I don't really do it for any reason. I like music. Man. So you got any you got any goals you set in for twenty twenty? Get an album put out, hopefully. So, what are your biggest influences? Um, the range of I started, what really got me into love music when I was younger is Elvis, but now it's just like a whole lot of fucking different artists. Like Eminem is one, then there's, there's a lot of different people. I remember it's like underground now, though. It's like, There's a lot of Chicago drill music too. So discuss that a little bit about the Chicago drill music, man. I don't know, just something about the, the, the music they put out from over there. Is just, it catches me, I guess. I so would you say I Chief? Would you say Chief Keith is a uh, is a big influence on on uh, Chicago drill music? Uh, oh. To them, yeah, but to me, I, I don't really listen to Chief Keef. I don't think I've ever heard any of his songs. I, mean, I, I know that the song, what I don't like or whatever the hell it's called, but other than that, I really haven't heard anything from him. I mainly listen to, like, Rico, Reckless, and Rondo, and Lil Durk, and, and King Von, and stuff like that. Wow, I didn't even know Little Dirk was from uh, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm wrong. What's your favorite Little Dirk song, man? Um, probably Nobody Knows. Hell yeah. So let me ask you this, man. So you're more you're more of a producer, not a performer, right? Right, right. So what is one thing that a track a song has to have in it before it's approved to be uh, published? For me? Absolutely. Um, I just have to... I, I don't know. I never really thought about that. I just go with what I like to think what I think can work together and So, 
<laughs> You've been on Bat Lab for less than a year, man. Yeah. How did you develop your sound? I don't know. It's just started out thinking it's all if we can put together everything at one time and then so you gotta lead into stuff and then really based on whatever mood I'm in when I'm working on a beat and some of that happy mood is gonna be freaking more rap beat songs than I mean my feeling is probably gonna be a freaking sad a more sadder song. It really depends. So living out in Washington, man, you're producing you got a lot going on band lab. Is there any A list artist you would want to work with? Um, there's a guy from Yakima I want to work with, but I wouldn't say he's A list because he's not really too well known. But a lyrical blessing. He's from Yakima and Troublemaker Studios and stuff from down there, and I'd really like to work with them. So is that a big record label up in Washington? It's just an underground little freaking local local thing in Yakima. So would you mind but being there, would you mind being a producer over there? I would not actually. I would love it. What's one thing that inspired you to the sound, man? Like what made you get adapted to what they were putting out? I actually know one of the guys that's on the label. His name Dante goes by Lyrical Blessing. Just talk about experience and try to fucking up, uplift people and shit in his music. And All right, man. So, uh, what what uh, future collabs do you got uh, coming up in this year, man? What? What future collabs do you got coming up in this year, 2020? <laughs> I haven't really, I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't freaking planned any, but you know, like a cure guy would be having some freaking stuff put out, but kind of oh, hard yeah. to do when we're not with, oh, so yeah. far with each other. That's right, man. So, uh, so let's start here, man. River Bottom Mafia, or was it yeah. Bread Up Entertainment? Which one came in first? Which one inspires you? And which one have you done the most songs with? Um, I the one I've done the most songs with is, would be right up entertainment, but I think I I like where where it's funny going with this movement and stuff like that and trying to help people fucking better their lives and, and that's for one with input is right up entertainment though. Bread up entertainment, man. So who's the owner of it and how did you get involved and who sent the invite? Um, the owner is called the Zach. Uh, he's on band lab. Um, I, I did a beat and he commented on it one day. He invited me to his freaking band and it's really been history ever since. We actually live very close by to each other too. He's just a few times over. So how many artists are on that band? Um, I don't think we're cool. One second. Right now we have 16. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to all the artists up in Bread Elf Entertainment, man. And a big shout out to River Bottom Mafia. This is Strictly for the Music yeah. Podcast. We are in direct contact with Robert. Let's get it, big dog. So let me go from here, man. You are putting out music. You got a mixtape already out. You come in with an album, man. You're on fire. Can we expect any music videos from you, man? Are you going to do any live performances on IG, YouTube, live, Facebook? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I got to really get it dialed in, though. I, mean, I don't want to just put anything out there. Got to be freaking quality freaking. So it's like, I, I record the shit myself. I just fucking make the beats and send them to him. And if you sent back to me, I just don't want to put anything out there. But I do fucking there, and I'll go fucking play some of my beats or like my Facebook Live or stuff like that. But I wouldn't really call it a performance. 
What was the feeling like when you started making beats and you dropped your first song on Band Lab? Um, it's crazy. Kind of freaking, I'm a little bit nervous. I can real people are gonna think about it, but but it. Man. So, how many beats does uh your profile got right now that's published? And do you have any private ones that you're still waiting to release? Uh, let me look here. Can't beats on here. But... We're just certain crazy. At least get 30 or 40 of them. 30 or 40 uh, beats. 30 or 40 beats, yeah. man. That's what's up, man. So uh, you got 11, uh, 11 songs on the mixtape, man. Are those beats included with the uh, bands? I mean, uh, um, with the um, profile, I mean. Yeah, all, all my beats are mainly just on my profile, but. I have a few I just put just for the bands and stuff. So. All right, big dog. Man, I, I appreciate you coming on this uh, podcast because you're an upcoming producer. You got the talent. You already got a mixtape out. You've done already accomplished a lot that more 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 artists haven't had. So, man, what what uh what dead what artist dead or alive would you want to collaborate with, man? Um. Haystack for sure. Haystack is a white word from Nashville. He's about a black book. Where that word is in there. Perfect. That definitely has to be my heart to get on that one. All right, man. So, uh, how is your music going to evolve from here, man? I don't know. Time will tell, I guess. I'm hoping to get version because I, I make all of them with my phone right now. Do you have any special shout outs you want to give, big dog? The group my, Mafia and Therapy Entertainment, they want on Band Lab, do your thing, you know what I mean? All right, big dog. So, uh, final words for any uh, upcoming artists and producer trying to do what you're doing. Um, keep working at it. Just don't give up. If you, if you love music, do it. The only one else can tell you you can't do it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Robert, thank you for coming on the show, man. I wish you all the success in the world. Stay blessed. This is Strictly for the Music Podcast, and we're out.